So I'll admit, I'm not really much of a shoe guy. I can't even understand how people get so excited about something that you wear on your feet. But this one is kind of a big deal. This is the Nike Hyperadapt, and you've probably never seen an advert so dramatic for a pair of trainers. Essentially, on top of all of Nike's previous technologies, it's air cushioning, it's battery powered lighting. These shoes can tie themselves. There's a pressure sensor just underneath the heel pads, and as soon as a certain threshold of weight is placed on it, they will alert the laces to start tightening, and it will actually mould around your feet, so it detects the thickness at the ankles as well as further down the foot, and it makes for a really comfortable fit, so they say. The second is a bit of a revelation. This is Liquid Glide. Now it's been in development for four years now, and what it is, is it's a substance that can apply onto the inside of liquid bottles, and what it does is prevents them from sticking to it, 100% whether it's paint, whether it's glue, whether it's toothpaste, you can all of a sudden completely eliminate waste. It works by creating an almost frictionless surface, so the liquids on the inside of the bottle literally have nothing to stick to. It's quite impressive to look at. So you've all heard of solar panels, and they're great, they're the next green thing, apparently. But unfortunately, the problem with them now is they're very expensive and they just don't generate enough electricity. Luckily for us, there could be a solution just on the horizon. They may have heard of graphene, it's been used in electric circuits, medical uses, a ton of different things, and it's also a potentially very dense store of electrical energy. Where this is headed? Graphene coated solar panels. So these things basically are going to use conventional solar cell technology, so they're going to produce all the energy that you currently get just from the sun. But on top of that, when it actually rains, the graphene will be able to separate the ammonium, calcium and sodium ions in the rain from the water. Now the ions will actually cling to electrons in the graphene, which forms a dual layer, and the electricity is then produced from the difference in potential between the layers. It's genius, and it also could just make solar panels a hell of a lot more efficient. The current problems of them being too costly considering how much electricity they'll generate will all of a sudden become pretty invalid. Then we have Olo, and this could be one of the smallest, cheapest 3D printers ever to be available. You can actually reserve one for $99, and it will actually interface fully with your smartphone. You can browse designs on their app, you can take photos and actually 3D image objects, and you can actually just find an image from the internet. It works with all sorts of complex design programs, as well as much more simple ones for ease of use. So how do they manage to achieve that level of functionality for that price? Well, the key is the company is now implementing the light from your phone's display to actually shape the object, which saves a lot on costs. It's pretty clever considering we all have a smartphone. It goes further though, you can even make flexible objects, translucent ones, and you can even send an encrypted message to another person who actually owns one of the printers. So for example, you could send them a heart shape, and they wouldn't know what the object is until they printed it off. It's kind of like a new form of messaging, which would be amazing if it took off. At $269, we have the GoSun Stove, one of the more unique products I've ever seen. Essentially, it harnesses the power of solar energy to cook your food, something that a lot of people have kind of joked around for the last 20 years, but this product does actually work. It won't be as powerful as perhaps a conventional stove, being able to cook a scrambled egg in about 20 minutes or a batch of hot dogs in about 30, but nonetheless, considering the alternatives you have while out camping, it could be a pretty nice thing to take with you. Now the purpose of this product is almost twofold. While it's great for people who are out camping in fields, there is a more serious need in the world. For example, lots of villages in third world countries, which don't really have access to conventional electricity, could harness the solar energy, and this could technically save lives. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to slap that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and this is Insanely Cool Tech.